it's more possible than you think. So uh, my name is Denise Maxwell, I am the owner and lead photographer of Lens Eye Photography. So photography for me, um, I was always the irritating friend taking photos. So amongst my group of friends, I've always had a camera. And this was before people had phones with cameras or portable cameras. So I would carry around a big, a probably about that big 35 millimeter camera with film. And I just always loved taking photos. So I think my passion started from very young in terms of taking photos. So I created Lens Eye Photography. Um, how did I create it? First of all, the name was made up by my brother. Um, my brother was in marketing at the time and I was looking for a name for my company. Um, I didn't know whether I wanted to name my company after myself or something different. And he came up with all of these different names and he said lens, camera lens, eye of a lens. And that's how we came up with Lens Eye for a start. Um, and I started by taking pictures of family and friends and then friends of family and friends and then the word got bigger and bigger and then I started working with bigger clients and corporates etc. So what I was thinking of when we come here. photography we photograph or I photograph lots of different genres so everything from portraits, corporate work, um, sports, commercial work, weddings, a whole variety of different types of photography um, and the reason I do that is because I love the variety I love the fact that every single day I'm doing something different I'm in a different place I'm using different skills, I'm using different lenses. So rather than kind of just focus on one type of photography, when I went into photography, I decided that I want to do lots of different types because I want to keep it interesting and I want to keep it exciting. So, you know, just a whole variety of different types of genres. So one of my best memories um, was getting a phone call from one of the agencies I worked for to say that, um, the R&B singer Usher was in town and they needed a photographer to photograph Usher and of course I dropped everything I was doing to photograph Usher because he used to be my crush when I was about 16 probably so that was fantastic so just being in a small room like this with him across there drinking a cup of tea and then me having to go in and say, hello Usher, I'm your photographer for today, getting a selfie with him, doing the job. That was all pretty exciting. Ooh, how do I see the future of photography? Oh, it's a very difficult one because it feels as though it's on one of those knife edges where if it falls that way, then it can work, it can get, you know, it can um, excel and get really popular and more people can become photographers. But it also feels like if it drops that way, then you'll have these huge agencies that kind of take advantage of photographers and then photographers won't be able to earn their living from it. So I, I don't know, I really don't know. It, it really feels as though it's on a knife edge at the moment. I would love to leave some type of legacy. So when I am at the stage where I'm no longer shooting, I would love to have created something or helped somebody in a way that um, a legacy of Denise Maxwell of Lens Eye Photography is left after I'm no longer here. So whether that be, I don't know, a, a school that teaches um, photographers or whether that be that I've had a significant impact on many photographers and they name me as part of that impact as, as to why they are now photographers. Um, there's, there's an old saying and I can't remember exactly how it goes, but the saying is that people die twice. Once when physical life leaves them, but also when the last person has spoken their name. So if I can leave a legacy where people are still speaking about my work and my name long after I'm not here or not shooting, then that would be an amazing kind of dream to kind of be able to leave behind.